we can surely expect that in our own lives there will come a time when we must make a choice between being loyal to the true faith or of giving allegiance to something else. We were in a camp on the Yellow River. It was deathly cold. A lot of guys died in that valley. He didn't realize it at the time, but they froze to death. And we'd stack the dead bodies like cordwood outside. They're frozen solid. At this time, Father Capon, he was trying to administer to all the POWs, and it made no difference to Father Capon if the POW was Catholic. Protestant Jews and Catholics are all saying the rosary every night with Father Capon. The Chinese seem to be particularly worried about Capon's influence. They were afraid of him, because he was smarter than they were. Well, then the Chinese obviously decided, we've got to get rid of this man. Four of us are carrying him up to this death house. Of course, we're all in terrible shape. But Father Capon is blessing the Chinese as we're going up the hill. He he knew he was going to his death. Nobody came out of there alive. And he said, bless them, O Lord, for they know not what they do. He was a martyr. They, they, I mean, they murdered that man. I mean, and he died for his faith. Thinking about how he lost his life there for us guys, really. And uh, you just don't get over it. <laughs>